Now in ballet, um, it's coming along. Um, I still struggle to get you to disconnect all the notes. Keep it really short. You should have marked in your music on this third line these staccatos on the quavers okay so i'll just do the right hand first so short and short and then a long section of notes short short and then you're back to the beginning and just slightly different at the end so that bar with the um, appoggiatura, we call it those four semi-quaver groups. It's the same as on the end of the second line of the music. Same pattern, so you're doing F sharp, E, D, E, F sharp, E, D, E, three, two, one, two, and then finish. So very similar pattern and feel to the previous one. So yeah, so the staccatos in that right hand you need to work on. The left hand, um, yeah, so we're putting those hands together. Okay, now either you can keep those legato or you can keep them staccato. I'm not sure. That might be easier. Might be nice as well because it's a bit of a contrast to the rest of the music where we've made it more staccato. Um, So I was just reading what it said at the bottom there. So make sure that you're playing in the treble clef on that third line with your left hand. So that's E just above middle C. All right, so it's E, G, E, those two notes there. All right, so let's do that line again, third line. Both can end staccato together. two bars okay. they really are very similar to the, the second line the fingering is different in the first line in the left hand it goes from two to four in the bottom line it goes two to thumb because in the first line you're going back up again in the next bar but the next bar here you're going down so hence the need to turn the thumb under like that so the third finger can go down to the F sharp right hand um, there's a third finger printed on the first line but you've been playing so your fourth finger is naturally there so the four or the three it doesn't matter all right but again the right hand here is different the first line it goes to the second finger because you're going up again after that all right but here it's going down to D so if you put the third finger on the F sharp it means your thumb automatically should go to the D, ready for that bar. Okay, so slightly different fingering in the, the bottom line. 